There is an idea of a Lieutenant Yazan. Some kind of abstraction. But there is no real me. Only an entity. Something illusory. And though I can hide my cold gaze, and you can shake my hand and feel flesh gripping yours, and maybe you can even sense our lifestyles are probably comparable, I simply am not. The sky has fallen. Millions must get land. Millions. As I not so subtly implied, this one's about the ORX005 Gapland, a transformable mobile suit made at Augusta and Oakland. It can transform in order to fly around. Though I assure you any similarities with Star Wars spacecrafts in this form are purely coincidental. In its animated appearance, the Gapland is piloted by Zeta's second best manic pixie dream girl, which ain't much of a feat considering that there's only two in the show. And of course, the man, the beast, the Patrick Bateman of the Universal Century himself, Yazan Gable. This iteration of the Gapland resides in the 275 point cost bracket, sharing it with the Punch Donut and the PMX Triple O. It's also fairly mobile. When it comes to the Gapland's ranged options, they seem deceptively simple. Both the main weapon and the sub weapon share a single ammo pool of 16 shots. Your main weapon fires a single beam from one of the arm-mounted beam rifles. You can fire it while moving and the damage is quite solid. Whichever hand is closer to the enemy fires the beam, meaning that angle-wise you can get some impressive coverage. As for the sub-weapon, you briefly stop in place to fire both beam rifles. While it doesn't do double the damage of a normal shot, it gets you a guaranteed knockdown and still deals a decent amount of damage. Though the fact that it uses two rounds instead of one makes it less spammable. When fired in midair, the double shots behave like the gun cannon sub weapon, letting you briefly air stall before making the unit skip backwards from the recoil. Now let's see how it performs up close. As stated, this is a transformable mobile suit, whose mobile armor mode is pretty agile but lacks range and can be a heavy drain on the ammo pool if you are going to do flybys, since the MA mode's ranged attacks are always double shots. It can make for a decent approach tool, albeit a somewhat situational one. Sometimes you can get away with starting a melee combo from it, but the startup from the transformation is slower, so if you are set on getting that MA mode to air melee to landing melee combo, Flanking is your best bet. The Gapland itself has a fairly impressive moveset. Despite how simple the main and sub weapons seem, you have to alternate between the two in order to stay viable. Single shots deal less damage but are more versatile and let you move on top of having a faster animation, while the double shots are a much more high risk, high reward endeavor, both in mobile suit and mobile armor mode. Though unlike single shots, these can knock down enemy units in one hit. As far as one on one combat is concerned, this unit has some solid melee. Your ground dash special melee is basically the Gyan's shank combo and is one of your hardest hitting moves up close. There are obviously move combos that can deal more damage, but this one has a safer startup and can air juggle most enemies. You even get a decent air melee, which can be comboed into landing melee pretty well, given enough practice. The standard ground dash melee is your short and sweet low commit melee combo and the standing special melee spin attack is a situational yet useful tool. That being said, your biggest weakness ends up being your health pool. For reference, you've got 480 HP to work with, which is the health pool of units like the Guff, Zagok, Gundam Ground Type and the Cubalate. Not to mention that the Gapland has the least HP within the 275 cost. In some regards, it can be a glass cannon, especially against suits that either have heavy hitting melee combos or knockdown resistance. Things like the O or the Bound Dock will definitely make you sweat up close. If you overextend, you're gonna feel it, to put it lightly. Considering all that, this is the mobile suit which forces you to be smart about your options when leaning more heavily into both offense and defense. Yes, you can play a more opportunistic role with it, you can play keep away while being somewhat conservative with your beam shots, but you will end up fighting with a hand behind your back. At the risk of sounding pretentious, in order to get the most mileage off of the Gapland, you have to use the unit in its entirety. This was a video requested by Solo X-Lion, so hopefully it was worth the wait.
As always, in case you found this one worthwhile, feel free to like and or subscribe to the channel. Maybe even throw a comment my way, suggesting what to cover next. Anyways, take care and this is Shirtlad, signing out. We are going to have to act if we want to live in a different world. It's